Hi everyone, it's Helen here from The Coffee Apple. So I have Sarah here with me. And on this side, I have Vanessa. Hi. Now they have been practicing. So far, I have seen Vanessa beat Sarah twice. <laughs> and uh, Sarah is, well, we're gonna see how she goes this time. <laughs> Normally Sarah wins at every time. Yeah, you're not, you're not happy with that one. My yeah. <laughs> so this is a new game for the Happy Puzzle Company. It can be either competitive or it can be single player. It is brain teaser. It is dice. It is the sort of double sided gem tokens, and these are those are flat. And you do want to keep these when you are starting off. Don't mix them up. So try and keep them separate. Otherwise, it takes a bit of work to work out to make sure that you are able, you've got the same um, gonna, the, pieces on each side. Each piece is unique. Yes. So you're going to have one of each type in each set. And they are very similar. Yeah. Yep. So it just takes a little while to separate them. It does come but with some little plastic bags. So you can oh. work out what you're supposed to have in each set. Oh, that's, that's very helpful. Yeah. So that's so, a set and that's a set. That, so yeah. For those that do accidentally mix them up. All right, so we've got dice here, and the dice. So originally you would start easy with those dice, with so, the white so ones. So they are the uh, basic dice. Basic, basic dice. dice. We yes. like those, don't we? Yes. Then you have the choice of substituting, taking, substituting one or three one, of the black of dice. So Ooh. they're, they're dastardly. Yeah, so Sue and I <laughs> decided we're going to show you how it works with one black one. Yeah. Just to do a bit of a challenge. And then you can change one of them for a red one, which, Ooh, is, devilish. which is devilish. Devilish, yeah. so uh, even harder. And yeah. So we're All just right. going to go this one yep. instead. Because just, just in case we can't get it out. Hard. Yes. So we put and I, I really like that this little container there they've got them. Yeah, I think that great. is really, really cool. Very. So you put your dice in. Yes. You put this the lid on. on. Okay, and do the shake. And make sure that they're all in... Yep. There we go. There you go. So the colour around the eye outside says that this particular design needs to be made out of these tokens with the pink. This one here shows that we need a straight line with yellows. Then we've got the green and the – now, was that the dastardly? That's – yeah, that's the – yes, dastardly. So that one there says okay. orange and you're going to need to have it in, in two separate – ones and then yeah, this so has got something got, else. So it shows you the two separate. So it has to be either a diagonal, two separate, yep. and going around in one. Excellent. All oh, right. Oh, okay. Well hang on. Does that, what what does that mean? Sarah's thinking they haven't they haven't rolled this combination before. No, we haven't. I don't know what no, that, that this pattern requires exactly two clusters of any size or shape in that colour to appear on the grid. Oh, okay. Mm. So it doesn't doesn't have to no. be those, that particular shape. It doesn't no. have to be the three and the two. It just needs two clusters of yellow of orange in there somewhere. Is that yep, right? of that one shape. One has to be two and one has to be one. Yep. All right. So two, let's see. So it's a two and a three. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. Throwing you in the deep end. Now we've got our combinations. Oh, the girls. Like bendy one. That's the bendy one. The, like the bendy one. The bendy one is in blue. So Sarah has just completed this bit here. Now it's not to say that Sarah down the track may decide to rearrange her tiles oh, if it sure. doesn't work. <laughs> if they do get rearranged quite frequently. Vanessa oh, okay, is also gone straight that for one. the blue. All right. So I've got a two or an orange. I need a three or an orange somewhere else. And I need some yellow in a straight line and I need Sarah is thinking oh, I'm talking out loud Hello. <laughs> Vanessa is very quiet when she's doing them <laughs> Vanessa just ends with going I've done it <laughs> yes. I'm going I can't make this fit and all of a I'm done yeah then the, the Vanessa's yeah okay so it's like that's not fair sorry Sarah. <laughs> building mm -hmm. now there is no answers there's no Coming rule up. book you check me oh so all got, right i've got my pink I've got a pink i've got my yellow yellow i've got my bendy please tell me my bendy blues right yes i've got my two and my three of orange and i got a three of green excellent so nice little one this time for net sarah is getting yes. to do her 
little happy <laughs> dance. <laughs> she is. And Vanessa is working her way through it. So it does start off with different combinations, obviously, because it all comes down to the roll of the dice. And it also depends on whether or not you are using the black dice, the red dice, or you're staying nice and simple with the white dice. It, <laughs> she's still working on it. And do you know what? I'm, I am in the back of my head almost thinking that this one here needed to be made up of the two and then a three in a triangle but oh, i don't know Maybe, yeah because there are lots of different designs so two combinations i shouldn't say that now that they've just made it but it says no that this pattern requires exactly two clusters of any size or shape in that color to appear on that grade well it says any size or shape it just said exactly. you need exactly yeah it just said that you need a three and two in that color in that color oh, no i have got it wrong because i've got oh i've got another random orange over here oh uh oh but nessa's got a fora mm. so yeah i've got some exactly two these. clusters of any size uh oh we're thinking any <clears throat> size oh, ex oh okay i get it it doesn't have to be two or three it's just two clusters of any size or shape. So my oranges have to be together. Your oranges have to be together. My oranges have to be together. Okay. So a slight rejig. So there we go. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! Learning in process. Well, because yeah. you never know <laughs> when you're rolling the dice what the combination is, yeah. obviously, because we can't practice these ahead of time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, they look. I think it's really good. What was your first impression? Because you guys have played Genius Star and Genius Square and Be Genius. Uh, how would you rate this one in comparison? Uh, they're, they're, well, it's challenging. Better on the boxes being, it's being like a seven and a half. More challenging level, as in it's the same level as Genius Star. I find Genius Star to be tricky. This is this is good because this is even harder. Yes, because you've you got a few choices, yeah. don't you? So you, you can add three plus that you yep. know, and make it really hard. So And yeah. there's no answers. You're just going to have no, to work it and nut it out. And making it work. So I agree, because Genius Square, it, it's level dick footy remains the same. Yeah. There's not much you can do you to it. Um, Genius Star, you can try to keep the blue piece separated all together. Yes. It makes it a little bit harder. This one you can. This one's gone next level up. up. Yeah. If, if, you if you're doing it. Vanessa, okay. is that was that the happy? Yeah, that was it. No, <laughs> that was me going. Okay. I give up. I'm gonna have to rejig it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good little one for those that are looking for a little bit of brain teaser work. You guys are going to enjoy but, this one. And you can do it with somebody else. Do it by yourself. You can. Great. I, I really quite enjoy that actually. Yeah, it's because you just won. <laughs> Good, good point. Yeah, yes, and now Vanessa's just. Yeah, a, let's see yours one. So you, there's your, my your two, two clusters. Oranges, my yellow, my green, my pink, my blue. And you stuck it out. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, have an awesome day, and we'll catch you all online. Um, uh, other way. <laughs> we are totally and utterly scripted here. Well done. Um, and it is, it is live. <laughs> all right, guys, have a great day and we'll catch you all online. Bye.